Right everyone, we're back here. Thought I'd do a video on the new sort of weapons ban laws that may be coming in and some stuff that I think people ought to know and things you may be able to do about it. One thing is, I'll say straight away, is there's a survey below in the more info section to do with the consultation that you can fill in that may have an effect on the outcome. So definitely do that. Once you watch this video, definitely do it. So there's a couple of things that are going to happen, potentially. This is what they want to happen. Some won't make a difference to most people, some will. The acid attack stuff, yeah, I think that's a good idea. In fact, I don't even think what they're proposing is even strong enough. It should be worse, you know. Um, but that's not going to affect most people because most normal people ain't going to be attacking people with acid, are they? So the other one is the rapid fire weapons and 50 caliber uh, rifles. That's not going to affect barely anyone, I don't think, really. So, you know it's a pity it's happening but it's not going to affect many people whereas the three other things i'm going to mention probably will affect quite a few people one is the the selling and uh, buying knives online now that really could affect a lot of knife makers knife sellers and even knife reviewers if you're a knife reviewer that could still affect you it's going to affect me because i get all my knives online so if that goes through, I will be able to make no money anymore, and because uh, I sell the knives I get, and uh, you know, I won't be able to receive anything, you know, just for my own thing. So if you're a knife reviewer, that knife ban could affect you. So you want to try and do something about it. So that's the knife sale online thing. Another thing is why you want to try and stop this is. They're going to try and change the legislation on the meaning of a flick knife. Now, they don't say specifically what they mean, but I suspect that means they're going to make spring-assisted knives and flipper knives, you know, they're going to make them into flick knives, and then they're going to be illegal. But not just illegal to buy. With the, with the, the other thing they want to do, they're going to make them illegal to own. Because at the minute, you can have a flick knife in your house. If what they try and do, they're going to make flick knives, which will mean flippers and spring-assisted, illegal to own in your house. So, another reason. Fill out the survey, try and stop it. <sighs> Write to your MP if you have to. You know, One thing is, this definitely this isn't definitely going to go go ahead. But I... I can't see why it wouldn't, you know. I just can't see why it wouldn't, unless people try and stop it. So, and then the other thing is, is the making the... There's, what it is, there's offensive weapons that you can own. They're perfectly legal to own, you just can't buy them. And there's 19 things on the list. I'll put a big picture up here of the list of them. All of those things are perfectly legal to own in your house, right? What they want to do is make those illegal to own in your house. And that is going to make a lot of collectors basically be, be owning stuff that's legal. And I bet a lot of them won't even know about it. And I don't think that's fair. That's partly why I'm doing this video. I want people to know what they could get in trouble for. You know, a lot... Some of it, I can't even understand it properly. Uh, one of them is the swords. There's swords on that list. And I think what they're talking about is samurai swords. Non-handmade or non-antique samurai swords that have a live edge. If you own one of those that you used to be able to buy and you can't now, you'll be you'll be breaking the law. There's knuckle dusters, flick knives, ballet songs. There's a lot of martial arts things on there, like hand claws and stuff. It, a lot of it's ridiculous. Ninja stars, shuriken. What crime has ever been committed with those? You know. So yeah, look at the list above. If you own any of those things, which are perfectly legal to own, they may be soon illegal to own and you could go to prison for just having them in your house. So, do something about it. Fill out the survey. Write your MP if you have to. 
do something something's better than nothing because I don't think it's fair to make perfectly law abiding collectors suddenly criminals for no reason for, for not having done anything you know it make it will make all your collections of that stuff completely worthless as well you know and it's not fair so do something about it fill out that survey below make your own video of this share it about let everyone else know about this tell them what could be illegal to own soon you know fill out the survey make your own video and share this one share this with people if you don't want to make your own video and then at least people will see my video and the information I'm providing there'll be information below from what I can find I'll, I'll add the link to the survey is below I'll try and link to what they're going to try and change and well whatever I can find just look below in the more info section there'll be as much info as I can provide do something about it don't let them you know fuck up everyone's collections and you know and make people criminals when they're not all right I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you, I hope you found this helpful and I hope I hope it don't go through because one thing is at least there's not a guarantee this is definitely going to happen but I can't see why it wouldn't so all right do something about it see you later all right before you leave if you ever wanted to support this channel you can now via patreon or by shopping at amazon.com and gearvest there's more info below if you need that remember if you want to get full notifications for this channel click the bell and uh, I'll see you later cheers <laughs>